Welcome to Rob Schmidt tonight. As a method of manipulating reality, much of the political noise today is focused on whether or not Hunter Biden got a sweetheart deal. As he will plead guilty to tax evasion, faces no jail time, and will have his gun charge completely wiped away as long as he stays out of trouble for a little while. It's pretty obvious Hunter Biden did get a sweetheart deal. Actor Wesley Snipes was convicted in 2008 of three misdemeanor counts that he failed to file tax returns in 99, 2000, and 2001. Wesley Snipes was sentenced to three years in prison. Hunter intentionally didn't pay for two years and will not spend a single day in prison. And while that is unjust, it's also rather typical for the political elite and their family in this country. And in reality, it doesn't really matter whether Hunter got off easy on these charges, as these crimes are just the distraction from what the Bidens were really doing wrong. Evidence pointing to them allegedly selling the power of the American vice presidency to anyone around the world who happens to be in need. Hunter's influence peddling was under the purview of U.S. Attorney David Weiss, a Trump appointee from the state of Delaware who led this investigation for the past five years. In that time, we've seen Hunter's laptop emerge and many witnesses and so much evidence laying out exactly how the Biden family operates. The evidence is everywhere, taking huge sums of money from the Chinese and corrupt actors in Ukraine, in Romania. Hunter complaining about being forced to pay his father half of his monstrous income. A 50-year-old man has to give his dad half of his money. And yet the charges after five years are tax evasion and a gun charge and no time in jail. And to help conceal how outrageous this moment is for all of us who are actually paying attention, the media hype today was perhaps Hunter Biden was overcharged. Take a look. He got a sweetheart deal and you're like, guys, I mean, you're just, you just sound like morons when you said, say these things. If he wasn't Hunter Biden, you have to believe there wouldn't have been a prosecution. So what do you make? It's different, but not in the way you might expect. Uh, I think it's actually harsher than the treatment that a typical person would receive. <laughs> the idea that Biden family influence peddling and corruption, as obvious as it is, is being completely swept under the rug by the DOJ is not even in the realm of possibility. If you turned on your television today, the DC machine is brainwashing mainstream America into believing the DOJ is so righteous and so nonpolitical that they overcharged Hunter Biden just to send a message to Washington that nobody is above the law. That's what we're hearing. When, of course, the exact opposite is the truth. How insulting, again, to anybody who's been paying attention, anybody that has a functioning brain and has seen everything that's been laid out against the family that currently runs the country. But that is the official narrative. Despite a mountain of evidence, tens of millions of dollars, bank records, witnesses, text messages, emails, wire transfers, shadow bank accounts and LLCs, Hunter is just a small-time tax evader, and his father, Joe Biden, is clean as a whistle also look into whether he was uh, violating the law by representing foreign companies or governments. You know, NBC News reported that he was paid millions of dollars, some $13 million from Ukrainian and Chinese business interests. At the end of the day, investigators did not find uh, criminal wrongdoing in any of that. Yeah, because everybody just throws $13 million at Hunter Biden, as much as $30 million at Hunter Biden, because people just like to watch him. Smoke crack and pay for hookers, I guess. Must be exciting. And while the greatest corruption scandal this country has ever seen just disappears in preparation for 2024, Donald Trump, Biden's opponent, faces life in prison for much, much lesser allegations, which, ironically, Joe Biden also committed. In fact, far worse because Joe Biden stole documents from a skiff while he was a senator and held on to them for decades. And while an investigation is underway there on Biden's handling of classified documents, seeing how the system generally works, I think it's safe to say you shouldn't hold your breath.